Okay, so here we've got a spherical photo. I'm going to open this up in uh, Affinity Photo. And what we want to do, we want to have a look at this as it as as a sphere. So let's uh, go to the layer menu, go to live projection, change to equi rectangular projection. Just wait a couple of seconds to get into the uh, into the zone, as it were. And so now what I can do with this is I can click and hold down on my trackpad and move around the picture. So there you go. You can see we've got a uh, nicely sort of um, setup thing there. And we can zoom in on this as well, so we can get closer to this. And we can change it with a field of view as well. So let's just change this here. So this is the field of view we're looking at. We can change the pitch from this part up here as well. So that's uh, looking up, looking down. Megalithic tombs there. And I can change the heading through this way as well. Okay, so the thing that you're going to want to do with this here is you're going to want to make a few changes. So let's uh, make some adjustments. I'm going to go to the in-painting tool and I'm going to erase this person from the picture. This is where we get some black magic happening with Affinity Photo. So that's going to erase that there. And it's gone. And then I'm going to go to this one here as well. I'm going to erase that too. Move the sign out of the way, tidy things up. And that's gone as well. So that's how you can do some editing with that there. And if you want to do other things like adding a, uh, a layer on this as well. So let's uh, add a um, adjustment layer and we'll go to brightness and contrast. Here's our brightness and contrast controls. I'm going to change the contrast on it. I'm going to up the brightness on it as well. I could change the blend mode as well if I want to make go multiply. So uh, change to multiply, then reduce the opacity down. All these sort of things that you can do to make your uh, picture more interesting. So that's a number of different things you can do with this here. And brightness contrast. And click on merge. So that's uh, brightness and contrast done. And now when we've done those things there, we're actually out of the equi rectangular mode. So back to go the layers again and go to live projection. And what we can do is we can go to edit live projection, which is this one here. And that brings us back into this uh, section here where we can move things around. So back again and we're moving around in our image. So let's just zoom out a little bit. Now what we want to do is we want to finish this off. So we need to export it out. So let's just do a file and save on that. So let's save it. Let's go back into file again just to check this. Going to go to open, open recent. And this is the one I was just working on. And for some strange reason, it's put this extra sort of shape on here. When I've worked on it before, it has actually made it so that the uh, image was set up so that the changes were made over the whole of the image, but this one hasn't worked. There's a couple of bugs in this here, but as you can see, it's pretty interesting all the same. So there you go. That's Affinity Photo and editing uh, three uh, 360 degree images. This is Dave Allen for Good and Geeky. Talk to you again soon. Don't forget to subscribe to the video channel. Bye bye now.